Yeah. Look at that. Oh. And I landed. There you go. What's up, YouTube? Today we have a quick unboxing. This is a 1995 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra R. It's officially licensed and it's on the TT01 Type E chassis. Um, this is the same chassis that my man truck is built on. And it's a really good chassis. It's entry level that accepts many many hop ups and it handles really really good um, my man truck does around 50 miles per hour on stock gearing brushless 3s and um, it tracks straight now I did add a wing and some chassis braces that probably help and of course I did hop ups with oil field shocks and other things like that um, but in the stock kit you get um, friction shocks plastic center shaft and things like that uh, it also comes with the torque tune motor and the TBLE O2S brushed or censored brushless ESC. And that's the chassis. Like I said, it's it's pretty basic pan chassis, but it's it just works really, really well. And um, I opened this up earlier just so I could read a little bit because I, on some gearing that I'm going to be doing. And... Um, so this is the book, and of course, if you built it to me, you know that they're very well detailed, and um, they do a really good job on their instructions. And you got your parts, like I said, it has a torque tune motor, so I pretty much get an extra brush motor and an extra ESC. I run these ESCs in a couple other my rigs, censored on 13.5s, and a 17.5, and a 13.5. You put a fan on these and they'll run 3s it's crazy um, if you don't put a fan on them then they'll go into thermal cutoff on 3s after a few minutes they're programmable and there's a low voltage cutoff but it's set low it's um for lifey batteries so just keep an eye on your batteries if you're running this esc on lipo they to me it has brought out a new version of this that comes in their kits and it's called the tble 4s and it's got different low voltage settings and it's um i believe this one's a 70 amp and the other one's an 80 amp i'm not positive on that it might be 60 and 70 something like that but i i know this is over 60 amps so the new one's got to be like 75 or 80. and of course the mustang cobra r body and you know to me they do a great job on their on their bodies of course it's got to be painted and everything and then there's the wing mirrors and wings and stuff these are already pre-painted which is kind of cool of course I do have um, plastic paint and if I'm gonna change this color because I'm not sure what color I'm gonna go yet the Cobra R wheels it comes with some really nice tires I wonder if there's foam inserts for those tires I don't if there isn't, I, I might have some. Yeah, there isn't foam inserts on those tires. So those, these just might be, be for show unless I can find some inserts for these. But I do have alloys. And I know these offset, 6 millimeter offset. I know these really work really well on TTO 1E chassis. Because I have other sets like these plastic ones on my man truck. And so these will be perfect. And so we're going to be running some hop ups. We got 4300 kV, 3650, and then we've got the F540 4370, which is a uh, which is a finned 540 motor, F540. 60 amp OC day. Nothing special. It's going to rip though. On 3S Jim's bearings kit. Trying out these X speed. 70 millimeters aluminum adjustable collars um, pretty nice got GPM center shafts I went with a really light it's a nylon geared servo but it's fast I think it's point um, one yeah, point one zero 
on six volts, so 0.10, that's pretty good. And I think it's only it's a four and a half or five kg. I'm going for lightness and not so much torque. Lightness and speed. I've got a couple different um, spur gear options. We're gonna try those. And I had a bunch of pinions laying around. I think from 24 to 27, mod six. Mod six pinions, which is um, 42 pitch. People gotta understand that. When I was building these newer Tamiya's, I was confused on 42 and 48 pitch for a while. But they're mod six. Mod six, 42 pitch. These are alloys, foam filled. These are the same style rims I run on my man truck. Uh, with six millimeter offsets and um, same tires, but these are alloy and then these are the plastic ones You can get these on Amazon for 10 15 bucks. I think these were 20 Same wheels design same tires, and it's just uh, plastic instead of alloy So that's what we're gonna do guys Probably gonna run either that the all-star or I fly sky receivers one of the two but I'm going to get to start building this. Um, it's been a while since I built a kit. I think I'm, um, I'm not positive what color I'm going to paint this. It might be blue and silver. I think blue and silver I might go. I don't know if I'm going to go box art yet. I never go box art actually. So we'll see about that. Let's see box art. Yeah, box art is is uh, is the blue with the silver graphics. So I don't know. Maybe I'll go black. Black might look really good. Black or maybe a charcoal gray. Charcoal like metallic. Metallic gray will look good. I don't know yet. We shall see. I'm also going to build a TT 2 R, and it's going to be on a 66. Mustang fastback shell. So that'll be coming next. Alright guys. Let me get into this mess. Peace. <laughs>